question came in on the mail, um, so it's anonymous. When giving tzedakah in honor of an entire family, would it also be appropriate to give the tzedakah in one's own family? I think giving tzedakah in honor of one's parents is good. However, if I want to include other members of my family, what should I do? If I give in honor of my own family, I'm also giving in my honor, which sounds odd. Okay, so I'm not really 100% sure what it means to be giving in honor of one's family. I'm assuming that it's not asking here to be actually giving the tzedakah to one's family. I'm assuming that's not what is being asked. So I'll give you an example. Um, there are many charitable organizations that you can give them a donation and it could be in honor of someone. And that person that you're honoring will receive a card, a note, um, a, a certificate saying that, uh, you know, a certain amount of tzedakah was given in your honor and, you know, uh, whatever, just uh, an appreciation for the fact that this person appreciates you. They want to honor you. So the truth is that there is absolutely nothing wrong with honoring any member of your family, with honoring your whole family, if you would like, even if it includes you. Um, nothing wrong with that. There's no obligation when you're giving to the ka to honor anyone. You're really honoring the Almighty, um, and you're honoring the Torah that gives us these instructions. But uh, to, to go beyond that and say, you know, I'm going to be giving this gift to a certain, uh, let's say, a, a hospital. I'm going to be donating $100,000 to a particular hospital, and I want to honor, uh, you know, my rabbi. I want to honor, you know, the president of my, of my congregation, whatever it is. That's fine. It's very nice. You're doing a nice thing. Um, you're possibly showing appreciation to this person that you're honoring. I'm assuming there must be a reason why you want to show appreciation. And the idea of what we call in Hebrew, hakarat hatov, showing appreciation and gratitude is a wonderful, wonderful character trait to be appreciative, to show gratitude. So you keep, really, you're getting the benefit of two things here you are giving tzedakah and you're showing appreciation. So you can't have a better uh, combination than that. And whatever, whoever you appreciate, uh, it's appropriate. There are no limitations on who you are able to show appreciation to for your charitable donation. When you think about it, I just want to share one other thought. Um, we speak about in, in the Torah, the idea that after someone dies, especially parents, their souls can be elevated in the afterlife. And normally their souls are elevated in the afterlife through the actions of their children. So the truth is that whenever, let's say a child uh, gives taka or does anything that's virtuous, even if you don't formally dedicate it to your parents' honor, but you are honoring them because you wouldn't be doing what you're doing had it not been for your parents' influence. So basically, whenever any individual does something that's virtuous, just by doing it, you are honoring your parents and you're honoring your teachers. Anyone that had an influence over your behavior, you are honoring by the way you behave um, if it's virtuous. Of course, the flip side is true as well. If a person is acting in despicable ways, they're bringing dishonor to everyone that really had a hand in their life. Um, and this is an important thing to remember because the most important being to honor in this world is the Almighty, is Hashem. So when, as a follower of God, anytime you do something that's virtuous and that's noble, you are giving honor to God. You're bringing honor to God because the world is seeing this is how a person who follows God behaves. But when a person who follows God does not behave properly, we're bringing dishonor to God, which is what we call in Hebrew, chilul Hashem. It's a desecration of God's name. But when you act positively, if you act in a, in a beautiful way, 
It's called Kiddush Hashem. You're sanctifying the name of God anytime you do something that is noble and that's virtuous. And so that principle applies as well for human beings that have an influence on your life.